And I look at her, and Benny's going, Yo, come on, man, let her know you're here, man. I'm like, all right, man. And I go, Jennifer, what's up? And she goes, hey. So Tommy Davidson sits down with Shannon Sharp to discuss his recent run-in with J-Lo and say, it was not nice. Is y'all ready to talk about it? Let's joke. Come on, Blaze. It's the beat for me. Wow, 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 wow
Yo, yo, Jay, Jim, Jennifer, J Lo. You know, hey ho, I'm ho. You know, what's wrong? I'm, I'm mad at you. Mad, I am so stinged at you. Because you did jokes about me, you said I couldn't sing. Come on, man, keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Oakland, we going to keep it real? I do what I do, you do what you do. Keep it real. And then that's when, that's when Puffy came in. He was like. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. And he stepped to me, but it was because of his woman, you know what I'm saying? I understand that. I ain't got no beef with Puffy. He was trying to protect his woman and stuff. And he was like, hey, you know, I didn't really understand all he was saying. You know, Puffy, Puffy, you know, his mouth is a little afflicted. Because it didn't, you can't understand. Well, huh? First of all, I didn't really appreciate all that. Huh? What? Wait, what'd you say? Huh? I mean, appreciate it. Take that, take that, take that. Take that. That's right. Puffy, Puffy, over here, over here. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> he just has too much juice in his throat, I think. You ever meet those people that's got a lot of juice in they throat? In they throat, they just juicy mouthed it. Be up there, you got a juicy mouth. Your mouth is juicy. Juicy mouthed it. And you try to swallow for him like. So now, girl, y'all just heard uh, Jamie Foxx with his stand-up girl. Let me tell you, if you haven't seen Jamie Foxx, the old one, though. I don't know if the clone one gonna be like the old one. But the old Jamie Foxx, not only is he, he pure comedy gold, the fool is crazy about the music. And the music is off the chain. I love Jamie Foxx's music. But that's not why we here. I've been getting a consensus amongst a whole bunch of other people that that bitch J-Lo thinks she's something that she ain't. And she really been cutting up. Anyways, now let's get into this interview from Tommy Davidson because Tommy Davidson said he had seen her after that and we know he done played in all kinds of stuff. But he said he done seen her after that and baby, he said she had a real nasty attitude and was real dry. Girl, let's get into this interview and I'm going to come back with what I think and my thoughts. Let's get into it. Uh, J-Lo bashing because right. she's crazy, right. talented. Right. Come on. Right. Can't put nothing on her. And she's a great actress too. Right. You know, but but um, we used to hang out with, with me, her, my ex. We used to go to dinner together. Right. So I saw her at the upfronts. Um, it was me and Danny DeVito. Mm -hmm. And he's like, that's, all, no, that's, that's Jennifer Lopez over there. You know her, right? I'm like, yeah, I know her. So I go over there. I'm like, what's up, girl? Shoot, man, you blew up. What, what is going on? She's like, hi. So what's going really? on? What's going on? I had, you know, just living like, you know, get some little carrot dip. Now I'm going, you know, what's in that carrot dip? You know, because she's your dip in my ass. You know what I mean? Right. So I just avoided her because you never know what someone's going through that right. day. Right. Right. I right. could be misreading. Right. It. Right. You know, I always got to get the love, but that, right. but that's from my profile. Right. From being the black and between the white right. and all that. So I'm needy in that right. way. I can admit that. Right. But I do love love. Right. She, we had the same um, manager at one time. Right. And she was doing a video up in up in um, Jen, in the block. Yeah. Jenny, 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 Jenny from the block. Block, 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 block. Right. Yeah. That one. And so um, he said, why don't you go and visit her on the set, man? She would love to see you. And I was like, nah, that's all right. That's all right, man. Right. He's like, nah, man. Come on, man. This is you. Come on, man. I was like, nah, that's all right, man. Right. That's all right. Because one time is enough right. for me. Right. So I go down on the platform. And there she is, you know. So I get down to the, to the end of the thing. And I look at her. And Benny's going, yeah, come on, man, let her know you're here, man. I'm like, all right, man. And I go, Jennifer, what's up? And she goes, hey. So that was like the last, you know? I don't know how she's going to be when I see her next, but the next time I saw her, I avoided her. Right. Because I don't like feeling that way. Right. I don't want to be around anybody yeah. who makes me feel like not I'm, I'm not important. I'm less than because. You're going to make me feel like I ain't important? 
Now, y'all just heard this, and Tommy Davidson said he's had two separate occasions where she was just real nasty. And I don't know if y'all know this, but Tommy Davidson was raised by a white family. Y'all knew that? He, I know he nigga, but he was raised by the, by the clear people. So, you know, he has a very good, um, I guess you want to say relationship with people outside of the black culture and he normally can you know be okay with the clear people but with j-lo this type of clear woman it was different he said she was just very nasty and rude and snooty and all of that and i'm just sitting here saying girl how dare you bitch how dare you i mean i'm like doggone jamie fox bitch when i knew you it wasn't j-lo it was just hi ho but this bitch done really, you know, I guess she felt like she done came into the black culture and used it for what she needed. And then that's it. I mean, the shit happens all the time. Like, I don't understand why we as black people get to be surprised. Now, as far as uh, Tommy Davis is concerned, he seemed like a real nice, humble person. I don't know. Never met the man. Don't know nothing about him. But he seemed like he a really nice, humble, sweet person. And I know, you know, he took it in stride or whatever. But you can tell that bothered him because he like when he said I want I'm a person too I mean something too like that's real nasty and you know what I found when it comes to the elites you know the people who get up there at the tippity top top uh I found that they have to snake and cut through a lot of people to get up there that's what they do and that's why when they get the crying on their way back down I be sitting up here saying I ain't got no sympathy bitch because I remember when you did x y z z z and x you know what I'm saying so I felt so bad for Tommy Davidson but ultimately Tommy the clear people who raised you probably are some sweet clear people shout out to those clear people I don't know them clear people I don't be around the clear people like that however all of them ain't like that. And, and let me put this disclaimer out here first. Before y'all get the windmilling in my comments, she is a clear Latina. Don't come over here with that ugly ass shit talking about she's Afro Latina. She said her great, 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 great grandmother was African. So she Afro Latina. No, bitch, please. She is a clear Latina. She's a clear Latina who came into the culture, used what she wanted, and left up out of here. Now, I ain't mad at the player. I got to respect the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to figure out when Negroes is going to figure this part out. You see what I'm saying? That's the part I'm trying to figure out. And this is the game. Jim Carrey, who was at one point the biggest thing that came out of In Living Color, he always pays respect and homage. And he even still hangs around the people, but he still pays respect to where he come from. Take a listen to him in this interview. Yeah. Now, this is... This is your first foray back into television since In Living Color. That's a long time ago. That's when I first met you. Um, and I noticed that a couple of your In Living Color former castmates are on Kidding. Uh, Kelly Cofield and Takia Crystal Kima. I know. I try to be around them as much as I can. So, you know, it's nice for us to get together every once in a while. Even if it's not something huge, it's just like we get to hang, you know? Yeah, but there's rumors about and doing, there's always rumors about doing an In Living Color reboot. Would you ever be a part of that? Well, I would be a part of it as a guest. I would certainly do it if they if they rebooted the thing. If it was the same people involved and everything, I'd love it. That'd be fantastic. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the show because it's great. Thanks. I love. So now y'all just heard that interview with Jim Carrey, and he gloats about In Living Color. He even said he still hangs around them. That's what. I appreciate about people who are who come into the culture, the, the respect that's shown. But when you got somebody like a Jennifer Lopez, who was, in my opinion, this is just what I believe, who I believe who was just basically there to gain and then put her foot on the necks of everybody else, I believe that's what you get. You get to where you need to be, and then you look down at the people you look down on your nose at the people who help you. But I say this, shout out to Jim Carrey, because Jim Carrey is a real one. I know a lot of people might think he crazy or whatever, but when I listen to this man, this man got a lot of wisdom and he knows a lot about what's going on in the world. So shout out to Jim Carrey. And you know what else is crazy? Keenan Ivory Wayans, a black man from the project up in New York. Shout out to New York. Y'all did good on this one. But look, uh, a black man from New York out the projects put his whole entire family on and he did this from the concept of his brain and invited all people of all walks of life i'm talking about clear black his everybody was able to come asian it didn't matter and he invited all of these people onto his platform to do what he did you gotta keep in mind this is after he did the movie i'm gonna get you sucker which is one of my favorite movies but this is after he did that movie so he had already had a level of success and he opened up his platform to everybody and you get people 
people like the J-Lo's of society who I don't know if she have that that kind of relationship or that interaction with Keenan Ivory, but who basically shit on other people. And to me, this is why I be saying gatekeep, gatekeep, gatekeep. Because I can recall this famous quote from Muhammad Ali where he spoke about rattlesnakes and he's basically, you know, referencing that to people of other colors or whatever, people who aren't black. And he made this real profound quote. And I want y'all to hear this because this today still rings true. I'm telling you, a lot of stuff from the 60s still ring true. Let's take a listen. Hey, people who mean right and in heart want to do right, but they're so few. If 10,000 rattlesnakes was coming down that aisle now, and I had a door here I could shut, and in that 10,000, 1,000 meant right. 1,000 rattlesnakes didn't want to bite me. I knew they were good. Should I let all these rattlesnakes come down, hoping that that 1,000 get together and farm a shield? Or should I just close the door and stay safe? I think that, that you understand the Viet Cong are not all bad, but America's still dropping bombs. In Hiroshima, Japan wasn't bad, but she still dropped the bomb. In Korea, they weren't bad, but they still dropped the bomb. So now I'm going to forget the 400 years of lynching and killing and raping and depriving my people of freedom, justice, equality, the first fire, last heart, the lowest of low, last respected. And I'm going to look at two or three white people who are trying to do right and don't see the other million trying to kill me. <laughs> I'm not that big of a fool. And I'm not going to deny it. You see that? So putting it in context, even with the culture, there's a lot of people who eat off of our culture. To be honest, everybody in their mama profits off of our culture more than we do. We profits the least off of our own culture. We are the single only culture of people who revenue is generated in the trillions. Do you hear me? However, we create that much revenue and profits the least. Not another culture on the face of this earth does that. Not none. And I'm not talking about race. I'm talking about culture. So we can go with the Hispanics, the Asians. You know what I mean? Just the blacks. Just the American blacks. I'll say that. And why I can't say that? Because I don't know the whole dynamic amongst the diaspora. But I'll just say this. For me as a so-called black American, the indigenous people of this land, we the only people who profits the least. And then people get to where they need to be and then give us their ass to kiss. That's what it is. So like I kind of felt bad for Tommy Davidson because you know he probably felt like, well, damn bitch. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, ho, oh, I was doing good and, and making money and blah 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 when you wasn't nobody and you gonna turn your nose up at me. But don't worry about it, fat. Don't worry about it, Tommy Davidson. Find you another clear woman to say hello to. She ain't the last one on earth. Do you hear me? But anyway, what y'all think about this? Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think. I would say to me, if I was y'all, because, you know, J-Lo done left and went to her clear Latinas, Latinos. She done said, fuck the culture, fuck the bitches and the hoes in it. And I'm here for it. But I'm just saying, what's wrong with gatekeeping people? I know they taught y'all not to do that, but I'm just saying, it's just a thought. Drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of that, all of that, wooty wooty wham wham. Subscribe to both of my pages on YouTube, Voodoo Doll TV and Voodoo Doll TV's The Dollhouse. And I will see y'all hoes later and down in the comments. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the Voodoo Doll time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo all is? And nigga, you just had up here.